What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name is Nate, and with me is my good buddy Taylor here. And uh, we're going to try to catch some blue crabs. We got hand lines, we got nets, and uh, it should be a good time, guys. We're going to go out here, catch some crabs, take them home, and boil them. So, y'all stick around. It should be a fun one. happens T I was gonna go buy some of the nice bat like plastic baskets from the store. Over there. Man, you really don't need it. Looking like a good day, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling yeah, good. I love this weather, man. Like 60, 63, 64 degrees. We got some little ring nets. I like the little, the little double rings uh, with a little shower curtain clip on the middle to hang your chicken off of. When you pick your basket up, when you pick your net up, crabs all sit in the bottom of it. Ray Rockin' is easy to dump with that double ring, I think. So if y'all ain't never seen this before, this is pretty interesting. What, what Taylor's doing right now is getting together some hand lines. So what it is, is you basically tie a, a chicken leg to a piece of rope, drop it down there in the water. So what the crab's gonna do is the crab is gonna pinch on to that piece of chicken and he's greedy. He doesn't want to let go of it. So you can pull him up real slowly and scoop him up with a net and, and basically catch him by hand. You, catch him, you can catch him one at a time, two at a time, sometimes three at a time. That's so greedy. So it's going to be fun. Uh, hopefully if y'all ain't never seen this before. Go, they got four boats coming down here, y'all. <laughs> we, we about to have some company. But, uh, but yeah, you just tie it on a rope and throw it down there in the water. It's something that's uh, traditional to where we're over here fishing. I'm not going to speak on locations, but this is where my family's from down here and, and on my dad's side of the family. And uh, this is something that's just kind of been in tradition down here. Something that, uh, I don't know where it originated at, but I know they do it a lot down here. And uh, it's kind of become part of the culture that that, that catching crabs with a hand line. It, it, it's, it's more personal, you know, it's more, it's almost like fishing, you know, you're actually fishing for a crab with your hands on, a, on the end of a rope. It's, uh, it's fun. So y'all are in for a treat if y'all ain't never seen this before. Put one at the end. up this first net let's see what's happening here got two keepers One. look at him greedy you want to keep that size or what we can sort them after, huh? Yeah. He's on there. Yep, look at that. Babies. Yep. The little ones. We might have to deal with that a little bit today. So looking like it. Once. 
I should have brought that brought that freaking net over here. I'm telling you, ready for juice. This is what's up. That's what I'm talking about the net, the, the dip net. <laughs> that was a good one. That's, I like them. I ain't mad at them at all. Oh, look, look, look. Give me a net. Give me the net. That one's running. That might be a golf fish, bro. Get it. Get it. Get it. Am I? Or are you saying I'm slow? No, you're fast. I've done, done it a time or two. You just gotta pull steady. Nothing. An alligator. Put <laughs> <laughs> a crab in it. <laughs> wow. One <laughs> Old freaking alligator on my. Mm hmm. Crab number one. Go number one. My buddy's wife's an OR nurse. Oh, no. You got it. Oh, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> he tried to get away. Okay. Uh, she worked in St. Tammany for a while and she was with the dog. A freebie. <laughs> there was like two or three more right there. Yeah, we about to start scooping off of that, off the pile. Got it. Big crab. Yeah. Nice number one, man. Let's see what these. After we leave, we can leave these lines here for them if they want. They, they oh yeah, the big ones are starting to turn on now. You're eating that one? It must be a nice one. <laughs> the big ones are starting to turn on now. They're turning on. On the lines they are. Oh yeah, he's got a buffet. Pretty much. You might have to loosen it up and let it sit on the bottom. Big crab. Got, got one giant and one little baby. Pull it up first. The baby one, they usually run out. Pull it up first. Is that a good one? Uh-uh. Oh, they had a good one? Yeah. It is big. Sheesh. Dude, that's one to put on a wall, bro. <laughs> you can put that one on a wall, bro. <laughs> that's a giant, bro. That's a hammer. Come on, this one. Yeah, let me pick this little one. Oh, you want me to? All right, here we can do it. On your side. Watch that. That control is right under you. Yep. That's only one, that's a good one. Could be another hammer. It is. Nice, Not a hammer, but it's nice. Number two. Yep. 
I'll take a number two crab all day. Mm -hmm. I think I got that other one. Okay. So you can throw them all in there and then. Yeah, right. I don't want to get a chance of him being left in there. I don't know. I'm going to one by one put him in the ice chest before we leave. All right. So, I mean, I know there's a few quite good ones in there already. Yeah. So. You good right here? Yeah. Good God. <laughs> I think he's yanking. Or them lines something serious, man. Keep asleep on them lines. Get ready. Lines. Get ready. Big old crab. Yep. Good number one. Good number one crab. It's amazing, huh? They get too much pressure. They, they, they know the net. It's like they know what's up. And it's like, how do they learn? I guess just tired of seeing their friends get yanked up on the water. Quick, like, a little pile starting here. Going out. Got one. I just threw back about three of them up here. Oh, really? Yeah, we catch them big ones. I mean, shoot. That's good enough. Put them in there. I always take them out there. Yep. That's not the final fight. Dang, look at that big old female, dude. She ain't got no eggs on her. No, I don't see none. I don't see none. He's a monster, dude. Yeah. Yeah, look. I'm trying to help you out. There you go. Nice one. Hey, there you go. We got a good number of number ones, man. We got a lot of number twos and a handful of, big, of number ones. A bunch of big twos. Yeah. Two big ones, yep. Wow. Love it. Last time I came with took me turkey, I got smoked with chicken. Yeah, dude. Like smoked me. That's oh, what I'm saying. Dude. I'm like, dude, y'all are slinging them in. Well, look, bro, after, after we leave, after we we'll leave the lines and you can, sure? yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, the chicken's just going to go to waste if not. Yeah, but it's either going to go to, y'all either. I'm going in the ice chest, I'm like, oh, I'm like, like chicken's cheap, my, man. I throw it out, I'm like, hey. Yep, <laughs> chicken's cheap. <laughs> they on the lip, that's the problem. He thought he was gonna get away. What are you, uh, what are you ducking on that? Had two monsters on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm coming around. <laughs> he said they're pulling the pylons in the water. <laughs> I think I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave their chicken out of the way. Aww, that's nice. Would you save an hour as a pet or what? Hey, this is <laughs> Last yeah. time they came, uh, right. they used turkey and they got smoked on chicken. Really? Yeah, they really are. They ain't touching the chicken. I mean, the turkey. Hey, cool. Hey, look. This one right here, like you said. He this pulled, thing's been pulling the piling in the water. He's pulling the piling in the water, bro. Gonna pour the dike down. <laughs> Sucker better be careful. Yeah, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Right there. Right there. Good enough. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at it. We got at least three dozen. Yeah, we definitely got that. Guess we'll count them up. Catch about a dozen more. Mm -hmm. Call it a day. Yep. Ten and four. The beautiful thing about it, y'all, is that with a fishing license, basic fishing license, anybody could do this. I mean, public land. We're blessed to live in the state of Louisiana, y'all. We don't take it for granted. 
I'm having a real good time, y'all. Look at the net coming through. You check this one yet? No. Put on it, but I don't think it's very big. Nope, it's a nice one. Keeper. Uh, you want to go on the other side and go check them on? Yeah. I'll be on net duty again. Line, run that line, run these nets, and get out of here. I ain't mad at it. Get on down the road, get up the road. A good choice bro every time y'all we we this morning we were thinking about going red fishing this morning and after eating these crabs i can't think of something i'd rather be doing less than eat than catching redfish these crabs this crabs was the right decision you know that's all i'm gonna say about that i anytime you can go and not have to worry about anything you know you go out you're red fishing that's a lot of gas spent sometimes the fish just don't bite and uh, today was one of them days front was pushing through. Yeah, north wind, I mean, high wind day. I mean, it would have probably been one of those days where, yeah, we might have caught a few fish. Let me adjust my brightness here. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, it might it might have been one of them days where, you know, we might have caught a few fish, whatever. But when you go crabbing, where we go at, we know how to catch them. It's, it's not a guarantee that they're going to be all number ones. and ain't a guarantee that we're going to catch, you know, eight dozen or nothing like that. But we always know we can get enough to make a boil. And so the pressure's kind of off, you know. It, the gas money spent, the pressure's kind of off. You go out there, you catch your crabs, you come home, you enjoy yourself. Have a nice couple of brewskis here and uh, hang out with your buddy, you know. Go make some groceries and <laughs> come on back. Yep, so... I really appreciate y'all coming along with us today. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Leave this video a like. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.